Yashar, Jasher 36. At that time, Yahuwah appeared unto Yaakov, saying, Arise, go to Beit El, and remain there, and make there an altar, altar to Yahuwah, who appeared unto you, who delivered you and your sons from affliction. And Yaakov rose up with his sons and all belonging to him, and they went and came to Beit El, according to the word of Yahuwah. And Yaakov was ninety-nine years old when he went up to Beit El. And Yaakov and his sons and all the people that were with him remained in Beit El in Luz. And he there built an altar to Yahuwah, who appeared unto him. And Yaakov and his sons remained in Beit El six months. At that time died Deborah, the daughter of Utz, the nurse of Rivka, who had been with Yaakov. And Yaakov buried her beneath Beit El under an oak that was there. And Rivka, the daughter of Bethuel, rather Bethuel, the mother of Yaakov, also died at that time in Hebron. The same is Kirat Arba. And she was buried in the cave of Machpilah, which Avraham had bought from the children of Chet. And the life of Rivka was 133 years. And she died. And when Yaakov heard that his mother Riv, Riv, Rivka was dead, he wept bitterly for his mother and made a great mourning for her and for Deborah, her nurse, beneath the oak. And he called the name of that place Elan Bahut. And Lavan the Arami died in those days. For Elohim smote him because he transgressed the covenant that existed between him and Yaakov. And Yaakov was a hundred years old when Yahuwah appeared unto him and blessed him and called his name Yahshara'el. And Rachel, the woman of Yaakov, conceived in those days. And at that time, Yaakov and all belonging to him journeyed from Beit El to go to his father's house, to Hebron. And while they were going on the road, and there was yet but a little way to come to Ephrath, Ta, Rachel born a, bore a son, and she had hard labor, and she died. And Yaakov buried her in the way to Ephrata, which is Beit Lechem, and he set a pillar upon her grave, which is there unto this day. And the days of uh, Rachel were forty-five years. And she died. And Yaakov called the name of his son that was born to him, which Rachel born, bore unto him, Binyamin, for he was born to him in the land on the right hand. And it was after the death of Rachel that Yaakov pitched his tent in the tent of her handmaid, Bilha. And Reuven was jealous for his mother, Leah, on account of this. And he was filled with anger. And he rose up in his anger and went and entered the tent of Bilha. And he thence removed his father's bed. At that time, the portion of birthright, together with the kingly and priestly offices was removed from the sons of Reuven 
for he had profaned his father's bed. And the birthright was given unto Yosef, the kingly office to Yahuda, and the priesthood unto Levi, because Reuven had defiled his father's bed. And these are the generations of Yaakov, who were born to him in Padan Aram. And the sons of Yaakov were twelve. The sons of Leah were Reuven, the firstborn, and Shimon, Levi, Yahuda, Yishachar, Zebulun, and their sister Dina. And the sons of Rachel were Yosef and Binyamin. The sons of Zilpa, Leah's handmaid, were Gad and Asher. And the sons of Bilha, Rachel's handmaid, were Dan and Naphtali. These are the sons of Yaakov which were born to him in Padan Aram. And Yaakov and his sons and all belonging to him journeyed and came to Mamre, which is Kiryat Arba, that is in Hebron, where Avraham and Yitzchak journey sojourned. And Yaakov with his sons and all belonging to him dwelt with his father in Hebron. And his brother Esau and his sons, and all belonging to him, went to the land of Seir and dwelt there, and had possessions in the land of Seir. And the children of Esau were fruitful and multiplied exceedingly in the land of Seir. And these are the generations of Esau that were born to him in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Esau were five. And Adah bore to Esau his firstborn, Eliphaz. And she also bore to him Reuel and Oholivamah bore to him Yeish, Yelam, and Korach. These are the children of Esau who were born to him in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Eliphaz, the son of Esau, were Teman, Omar, Sth, Sekfo, Getam, Chenaz, and Amalek. And the sons of Reuel were Nekat, Zarach, Shama, and Miza. And the sons of Yish were Timna, Alia, Yet, Eyahu, and the sons of Yalam were Allah, Finor, and Kenaz. And the sons of Korach were Teman, Mitzar, Magdiel, and Iram. These are the families of the sons of Esau, according to their dukedoms in the land of Seir. And these are the names of the sons of Seir, the Khori, inhabitants of the land of Seir, Lotan, Shoval, Sivan, Anna, Dishan, Etzer, and Dishon, being seven sons. And the children of Lotan were Khori, Heman, and their sister, Timnah, that is, Timnah, 
who came to Yaakov and his sons, and they would not give ear to her. And she went and became a concubine to Eliphaz, the son of Esau. And she bore to him Amalek. And the sons of Shoval were Elan, rather, Alian, Manachat, Ival, Shafi, and Onam. And the sons of Sivan were Ea and Anna. This was that Anna who found the Yamim in the wilderness when he fed the asses of Sivan, his father. And while he was feeding his father's asses, he led them to the wilderness at different times to feed them. And there was a day that he brought them to one of the deserts on the seashore, opposite the wilderness of the people. And while he was feeding them, behold, a very heavy storm came from the other side of the sea and rested upon the asses that were feeding there, and they all stood still. And afterward, about one hundred and twenty great and terrible animals came out from the wilderness at the other side of the sea, and they all came to the place where the asses were, and they placed themselves there. And those animals, from their middle downward, were in the shape of the children of men, and from their middle upward, some had the likeness of bears, and some the likeness of the kifas, with tails behind them, from beneath, rather between their shoulders, reaching down to the earth, like the tails of the Dochifat, and these animals came and mounted and rode upon these asses and led them away. And they went away unto this day. And one of these animals approached Anna and smote him with his tail and then fled from that place. And when he saw this work, he was exceedingly afraid of his life, and he fled and escaped to the city. And he related to his sons and brothers all that had happened to him. And many men went to seek the asses, but could not find them. And Anna and his brothers went no more to that place from that day following, for they were greatly afraid of their lives. And the children of Anna, the son of Seir, were Dishon and his sister Olihiva Ma. And the children of Dishon were Hemdan, Ashban, Yitran, and Haran. And the children of Etzer were Bilhan, Zaavan, and Echan. And the children of Dishan were Uts and Aran. These are the families of the children of Seir the Chori, according to their dukedoms, in the land of Seir. And Esau and his children dwelt in the land of Seir the Chori, the inhabitant of the land, and they had possessions in it, and were fruitful, and multiplied exceedingly. And Yachakov and his children, and all belonging to them, dwelt with their father Yitzhak in the land of Canaan, as Yahuwah had commanded Avraham, their father.